Anyone else feeling just done with life? I don't know quite how to express what I'm going through. Um, I'm just really done. It's sort of a form of feeling suicidal, I guess. I'm just in so much psychological agony, <laughs> constantly waiting for my life to move forward, for this court proceeding to be over, waiting for the 30th now. Totally expecting it to get postponed again for some reason. I just... There just aren't words to express what I'm going through. But I'm getting really, really done with life. Um, which is hard, obviously talking a lot about different ways that I can just sort of end and I'm not going to because I'm aware of the impact on others and all that jazz but just the psychological agony is overwhelming and life puts us in so many of these positions I know you guys can relate where I'm sure you felt this way some point at life where you're just like, why am I continuing on? This just hurts. This just hurts. When does it end? What's the point? And it's funny because, I mean, ultimately there isn't one. <laughs> uh, there's a quote, and I'm probably misquoting it, but there's just a quote that I heard of recently from a philosopher, I think, who has said that... The purpose of life is whatever you do that makes you not want to kill yourself. <laughs> so, you know, we all have our own purpose and you have to sort of make it yourself. And I understand that. It's just so much harder when you don't even have the desire to reach out to find out what that purpose could be when you're just feeling so dead. It's, I guess, a form of depression in a sense. But it's, for me at least, very environmental, where it's being influenced heavily by what I'm going through. And I just want it to stop. I just want it to be over. Which will happen eventually. But, you know, patience and all that jazz. Life is just so endlessly exhausting. There's always something new coming up that's taking you away from living. Or at least that's how I feel about myself. And I just... Having a harder and harder time finding purpose. And in that sense, I'm sorry. I feel the need to apologize because you guys do give me a lot of purpose and making video for, videos for you guys and sharing advice and sharing myself with you does give me a lot of purpose and I really appreciate you all for that. And I don't mean to show a lack of appreciation in what I'm saying. I guess I'm just sharing and sort of venting that I'm having a really hard time right now. I was having a pretty freaking hard time a couple weeks ago too and there was sort of a low where it wasn't so bad but now I'm just feeling it again just endlessly there just aren't, there's no words for the mental agony, the lack of purpose, the lack of desire to do, to go forward, to try to find a purpose like we're supposed to. But I'm trying, I continue to try, I will always continue to try my best as I try to encourage others to do. And I know it's hard. I hope you can see that I really do know. It's very, very hard to keep going a lot of the time. Life is not fair. There is no fair. There is no deserve. It just happens. And uh, despite all the pain, there are a lot of positive moments. So that's what you need to try and remember, despite how hard
yeah, not quite sure what this vlog was other than me just sort of venting and also saying that anyone else feeling this way, definitely empathizing with you right now. And I'm very sorry to all my regular viewers for how awful I've sort of been in the last six months, I feel, in, in responding on comments and stuff like that. I've just been very avoidant because I always want to provide a really thorough, good response that's not just like, oh, thanks for your comment. You know, like I read what you said and thought about it and responded sort of thing. So sometimes when you guys put a lot of thought into your comment, it makes me that much more avoidant. <laughs> to respond because I want to put so much into it and I just don't have the mental energy. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you for your thoughtful comments. I still do really appreciate them and they mean a lot to me. And I don't want to discourage your interactions with me. And I just really want to apologize for the fact that I feel I should be more interactive with you. And I'm going to try to get myself back to being more interactive and more responsive quicker. Just probably not going to be till July that that really starts happening because I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and always waiting for this court proceeding to be over and at this point they're saying June 30th so fingers crossed I guess in the meantime um, there is actually a collaboration coming out soon that I will be releasing with a fellow YouTuber so do stick around to watch that uh, it should be a good one and otherwise, uh, there will also be a few vlogs coming out of random things that I've done in life, so stick around for that, but I'm not sure how consistent things are going to be in the next few weeks. I'll do my best to keep up, but yeah, things have been not exactly the easiest. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, as always. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope that if nothing else out of this vlog you've gotten that, if you're having a hard time, I really do empathize with you and you're more than welcome to comment below and share what you're being through which what you're going through rather and I'm more than happy to try and respond but I can't promise that it will be immediate eventually I will I always try to it just might take me a little while anyways thank you again for watching and as always please do join me again next week or as soon as possible as soon as I can get another video out to enjoy a little something that I've learned in life